Today I'm going to take you through a shoulder workout, the perfect shoulder workout that you can do at home, just incorporating five exercises that you can do for home using dumbbells so you don't need to take yourself to the gym and incorporating your body weight to really build and shape those shoulders. So let's go straight into these exercises that can help you build your shoulders at home. All you need to do is grab the right set of dumbbells that you're going to need with. So it's more going to be focusing on isolation movement with the dumbbell first. And it's also going to be one compound exercise. So you might want to grab two sets, one fairly light and also one a little bit more heavier. So I'm going to go down that lighter set. We're going to start with doing some alternate front raises for the first exercise because it lets you warm in your front delts. So I'm going to go for around about 30 seconds on each of these exercises. You can also do it in repetition form. And then just take about 30 seconds of rest in between each exercise. And then uh, repeat these in a circuit form and then go again. So it takes around about five minutes to get through these five exercises. And you can repeat them for roughly three, four, even five sets to maximize your workout if you want to hit around 15 minutes or 20 minutes. So these front raises, you're just bringing them up just to line up with the shoulders. Keeping that arm straight out, trying to avoid too much body movement and too much swinging. So I'm going to give myself 30 seconds rest here. That's what you need to do. That's enough time because you want to push through this workout pretty quickly as well. So you're not wasting your time. Efficiently, just use the time that's needed to build those shoulders. So don't let it rest too much to hit them again. So don't let them go to a resting phase. So in this 10 seconds, I'm going to give it, I'm going to go with the same weight again and move into lateral raises. So just going out to the side, both arms at the same time. Get my feet together here, standing up tall, straight, and just coming out to the sides. Gonna have a slight bend in the elbows when you're coming up, and you wanna get those weights and hands to line up with your shoulders when you come up. So try not to go over the shoulder range. So nice, slow, controlled when you're bringing the weight down, and also try not to swing the weight up keep that body pretty stable all the way through the exercise. So you're really using just the lateral part of your shoulders, yep. So that's hitting the, the medial deltoid as well as the front, as this first one, we started at the front. Now we're gonna incorporate a nice compound exercise going with your body weight. I'm actually using a bench here. You can grab some chairs, you can do it straight on the floor, all depends on your shoulder strength. So he's doing a body weight shoulder press, so doing a pike push-up position. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on the bench here, get that elevation in there. So this is a bit more beginner form. You want to step it up, then take it lower to the floor. So you're going to pivot on your feet here, hips right up in the air, and then you're going to bring your chin over if you're kind of working on an object. If you bring it to the floor, sort of round your head will be coming in between where your hand placement is. So really keep those hips up as high as you can, stay on your toes, getting that V shape in your body. All right, so again, just 30 second rest, but you can work not in 30 seconds at a time, which as I'm doing, just to get those reps in, but you can actually do it in a repetition form. Yeah, so make sure you're doing 10 or 12 reps per exercise and then take 30 seconds in between. So your workout could be just a little bit longer. So now we're going to go into some bend over flies. So this thing is going to be in a better position and I'm just going to grab those same weights. So again, so hitting the rear deal twice, which you haven't targeted yet. You're going to be bending over, so get those hips Back, slight bend through the knees, hinge all the way forward as much as you can, keeping that back straight and then coming out to the side. So you're doing a fly outwards, try to squeeze at the top. So you get that slight half a second hold at the top and keep that line with your shoulders. So you're not swinging your arms back or too forward. All right, so this time I'm gonna go with the heavier set if you want on this exercise. So I'm just gonna keep the same weight just to show the fifth exercise I'm gonna do. That's the last exercise. It is going to be a dumbbell press. You can well do it seated if you're using a chair, like I've got a bench here, or you can just stand up anywhere you have, as long as you've got the, the room, you can go and do a standing shoulder press. This one again, just standing tall, show you standing. You've got the Dumbbells up, sitting on the shoulders. I'm going to twist them through and then bring them back down to the shoulders.
So that is it. That is five exercises that you can do at home in a circuit form, working the entire shoulder all around. So we hit the front, the medial, and the rear, and also getting those traps in if you're doing those exercises correctly. So it's gonna be uh, the intensity there and the resistance that you apply to the actual worker that's gonna give you the best benefits. So if you're pushing yourself a little bit more through the body weight exercise, if you're doing that uh, pike push-up, making sure that you go lower to where it feels best for you. So you'll find that 10 or 12 repetitions is quite difficult. And also the same with the weighted exercises, making sure 10 and 12 should be difficult, at least those last couple of reps. So that's how you know and identify the right actual weight that you need to lift. But that is it. That's a great shoulder workout. I hope you guys try it out, put it into your regime. As always, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, smash that like button, and also uh, comment in the section below. Let me know what you'd like to see in the next video. But that's for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.